Hello again my friends, we have something to fix today from the same series free fixing for friends uh, my wife's lady friends they are all understood this concept of mine and of course now they are <laughs> they are trying to get a how can I say may I call it advantage <laughs> of it so I got a lot of crazy stuffs to fix and one of them it's a lone mower from Bosch seems like it's not working anymore let's take a look and see what is happening there this friend of ours is a she said that sometime he is running sometime just stuck or something so uh, let's try to diagnose and uh, see what I can do probably it's this switch here which is notorious it's not the first one I've seen from Bosch so let's put it on and see what's happening you see like always before anything else we have to search or we have to look for shorts we got the beep I'm having the connector now I have to push this and nothing happens nothing at all so we have two explanation switch is gone or the motor is kaput <laughs> I hope not maybe one of the wires I really don't know how can we do that nice and easy of course I can take this out from the handle we have two screws down here all right so this should go out but not yet because I have to dismantle one two three another three keeping the plastic case together okay kind of easier probably those are going into the metal oh yeah they are going into the handle two and there we go okay so this is you see this is this system it's done for having the security somehow so if we take only the handle you'll see we have this movement here but we don't have any push to the switch but once this one it's down then they are both running and pushing the switch make the contact what the hell is happening here okay here we are so what we got here this is the switch obviously if uh, the motor is still running so this is the connection to the motor if we measure here we should have a kind of resistance and we have okay so the motor it's okay now let me check the plug to one of these we should have a beep and we have it and next one okay so this connection is fine the single leftover here problematic it's the switch itself all right and we have a capacitor obviously for interferences okay let's try again we got a kind of okay now it's working you see something i believe in fact the problem it's not the switch not at all let's plug this into the mains and nice and easy we have to be really really careful The switch is fine not anymore here is something strange happening I can feel a slight push from the motor but not an exactly movement okay the motor is still there funny That's the motor with the switch through the switch and that's the motor by itself and shows me 695 what is this and growing <laughs> that's funny I'm afraid we got a problem 
Wave. Yes. Yes, it's very clear. Yes, I think I think I found the problem. It's the motor itself, probably the um, brushes. But how can I test the switch? Obviously, it's out of the mains. How can I test if the switch is doing the job? Well, something like this. Uh, let me show you. I'm gonna have this capacitor in short and measure the input for a uh, dead short. So if we have my wires here, can you see that? So now I have 008 dead short. Okay. I should have the same. Yes. The switch, it's absolutely fine. The switch is absolutely okay. So the single problem that I have it in my mind now is the motor lost the motor lost uh, contact lost the brushes this is another question because I have to dismantle everything to take out the motor to check the brushes and the carbon brushes and eventually to replace them with some others now you see the motor it's open we have four screws here I took it out and I checked the carbons well this is still plenty of life i may say with these guys not perfect but still okay we're gonna clean them and uh, hopefully they are back to life in the meantime the router it's looking pretty okay let me show you that's the collector it's in a pretty good shape it's not a I don't see a problem with that one I can clean it like that you see this is the the carbon here and it had this U shape sometimes the edges are getting too high and uh, that develops a kind of extremity lower uh, contact or something if I can explain that so uh, I'll just make this kind of uh, flat or at least I'll take off the edges okay now I'm pretty sure it will do a good contact again there we go I really don't need to replace these guys there is still some life there like that don't push the springs yet because we need to put it back in place so uh, it's better to have them out and then the collector can easily and I think that's the position all right let's not forget about oil just a little bit of that's fine. I'll just drop it in here because this one will stay permanently and of course doing the job there like that. I think we are good to go. Let's put this back in place. Come on up. Okay. Now it's in the place. Let's push the contact down. And the other one here. All right. So now we should have like 500 something. Let's see. 19, 20 ohms. Oh yeah, I may say this is a proper good number. 20, 20 ohms should be okay. I checked with my other lawn mower which is good and working and uh, I got there around 10 ohms but it's a much powerful motor than this little Bosch and I got two of these screws back in place and we can have a try let's see ready nothing okay no power
Okay. Of course. I f okay, it's out of the mains. Of course. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to have the strings back in place. Now we should be fine. Okay, let's try again. Same story. It's not moving. Let me take it out of. It's very interesting. What's happening here? Here is fine. Do I have a problem with the wires? Or maybe that's not enough carbon and uh, it's not doing a proper contact. Well, I don't have any carbon brushes. Okay, it's out of main. I have to be careful with that. So this is very possible. It's at the end of the life there. I can push them a little more with some extra piece of paper or something. Because anyway, this week I can get, it's weekend already. So there are no repair shops or parts or anything open until Monday to my friend she want to cut the grass this weekend okay to help her all right so now I have more pressure on the cables the brushes and okay let's see same story the motor is still not working the brushes are okay the rotor is okay all the numbers fits well stay tuned for the next episode and you'll be surprised about the solution so uh, see the part two coming next thanks for now thanks to my sponsors and of course don't forget to have fun bye